Hi friends, this is Anna Moon. Today we will do a rock painting and I show you on this rock the same that I did on this trading card to create this spectacular foam. I used some structuring paste and as you can see there are a lot of a lot of up and down and it looks really 3D. This is the structuring paste I use. It's a light structuring paste. It's made for canvases that they don't bend if it's too heavy. The first layer is as always a layer of white gesso. You can also use a, a layer of titanium white. The rock is now dry and for this painting I use Burnt Amber, Phalo Blue and Hansa Light Yellow. I put a bunch of structuring paste on my palette. It dries it not transparent, it dries white and to get the right tone I mix in some acrylic paints. It works really nice. At first I start with the phalo blue. I take a tiny bit and mix it in the structuring paste only to get the first layer, the base layer. The base layer I paint with my palette knife because I'm afraid this, that this uh, structuring paste will stick in the hairs between the hairs of my brushes and the, it will destroy them. I don't know. I paint with a really light pressure and I made the blue really flat. If there's some white, it doesn't matter. We will paint over again at a later point. It's like doing the icing on a cupcake. I try to flat it a bit out, but not too much because it will create a nice, real look. I wiped off some extra paint. If you haven't already yet, then you can check out my Facebook page or my Instagram. The links are below. There you can see some other work that I do if I do not a video. Or sometimes I post something in the community tab of my YouTube channel. I mixed some burnt amber and uh, some light, uh, some Hansa light yellow into the structuring paste to create the sand, the beach. And like the water, I 
paint it uh, really flat. I let a gap between the water and sand because there I will add the foam at a later point. I add the foam at, at, at the last step because so I prevent mixing in some paint and destroying the structure. For this rock painting you need some time because the structuring paste needs several hours to dry. In this case I have a week between this first layer and the painting of the details. The structuring paste was dry days before but I don't find enough time. You have to wait a day, 24 hours and then it's dry to paint over. Now I take some uh, pure structuring paste and I lay down the paste very heavily with super light pressure so the foam will stay and be careful that you not uh, have too much pressure to press it down. It doesn't matter if there is some blue in it or some yellow because we have to add shadows at a later point. I dab a little bit to create this foamy swirly look. If you have the need to move the rock around, then put it on a flexible surface, like a pallet. Then you can rotate your pallet and it is easier to paint from another angle. I add some white smaller foam into the blue to create some smaller waves.
This time it's more a sculpting than a painting. And I will, and I think it was very fun to do this. I have a big chunk of structuring paste. I will do a lot more of such paintings. some foam on the beach. My rock is now dry, it's a week later and on my palette are phthalo blue, burnt amber and titanium white. And I start to paint the darker areas of the water with pure phthalo blue. If you want to thin the paint out, then use a drop of water. I mixed some kind of shadow color with uh, burnt amber and phthalo blue and white. Burnt amber and phthalo blue creates a nice grayish tone. Now I paint in front of the foam some grey, it's all the shadows. You don't have to do a lot of detail work because the structuring paste creates a very realistic look. Now I paint some darker blue in front of the smaller waves.
And I think it looks really nice. I have to create more shadows for the foam. Shadows are so important for paintings. A human eye loves to see contrast. I lighten the shadows a bit. I think it's it was too harsh. This uh, nearly pure, pure uh, burnt amber. I always work uh, back and forth with my paints. I add also some uh, brownish tones into the foam, because the foam is not only translucent to the water, but also translucent to the beach. Now I sign the rock and at the end I will add some little stones in the sand and then I think the rock is finished. I will add some closer pictures of this rock. I say thanks for watching, please subscribe to my channel if you don't haven't yet, see you!